Okay, so the shirt has sat overnight and is all this dye is dry. Um, the thicker your uh, sodium alginate was, your gel, the warmer your wax needs to be to penetrate through it because it makes it a little thicker. Um, so you can either use your jaunting cools and go in there and slowly fill it in like this. You see where I already went through there. Or this is where you can use your chip brushes really come in useful. You see how it's hot wax on there? And it's just gonna like be able to paint on. This cools off fast. Let me grab a different brush. As you can see, you can cover more space quickly. But it cools off fast. So you're gonna be going and switching back and forth between the two for several chip brushes in there at one time. Little details like when you get down here to these toes and this little bit of fringe coming off the bear's leg. You can use the pins to fill that in. Like so. Either way you decide to do it is fine. Um, if you get too much wax build up, you can just scrape it off if you want to. See, like here, it's real thick. So I'm gonna take this little metal spoon, just scrape that little extra off. There's like a lot of wax. You can also use that to get any of this dripped wax out of here and dump it back in there. It's just better when it's soft. Anyway, and that's just for real like a toddler spoon, haha, <laughs> but it's just a metal spoon, so. Using a brush um, increases your chances of drip. So until you're familiar with it, you can even use tinier brushes. Um, if they're synthetic fibers, though, you have a chance of them melting in the wax. So usually, for some reason, like the cheap chip brushes, it's made out of like smooth bristles, and they don't melt. So, <clears throat> if I missed that spot, or if it's just light, no, it's already waxed. All right, so this is already waxed up, and so now what you can do is go in and take this. Once this is cool, take it off the board, and it's going to cool really fast. So I'm just going to go ahead and take take off. So yeah. When it's cool you can wrinkle it up and get that crackle effect if you want. Um, I can literally just take it off of the cardboard now. And before you pull your paper off, you can look at the back and see if your wax penetrated all the way. Because if it didn't, anywhere it didn't, whatever color you dye your shirt is going to over dye on there. Like when it's cracked up, those little cracks get that dye in it. And most of the time they look really dark. And that's kind of the, my favorite thing about Batik is the, the wax crackle effect. So that's this, and the next step will be to, I don't know if I'm going to tie-dye this, 
or just fat diet, but um, we'll get to that in the next step.